I came home today to find my first J of the season. This means this caterpillar is about to turn into a chrysalis. So now I'm one step closer to getting my first butterfly. Stay tuned for updates. Here's a caterpillar turning into a chrysalis. You can see it wriggles off its skin to reveal the chrysalis underneath. In about two weeks, a butterfly will emerge. I'll make sure to post updates. Monarch caterpillars only eat swan plants. It provides all the nourishment they need to become an adult butterfly. So when I'm run out, I just have to go and get more because there are no alternatives. Once the caterpillars are nice and chubby like these, I bring them inside some food. This is so they can metamorphosize peacefully without threats such as wind and predators. This is how a monarch caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. It sheds its skin and wriggles it off to reveal the chrysalis underneath. It only takes around five minutes. Then two weeks later, we have a new monarch butterfly. These are all monarch butterfly chrysalis. They remain in this state for around two weeks. You can already see the wing patterns forming on them. It takes about two weeks for a monarch butterfly to form inside a chrysalis. That means I'm just days away from releasing my first butterfly. I'll post updates once they emerge. Two weeks ago, I posted this video of a caterpillar turning into a chrysalis. Since then, it's undergone a massive transformation. You can already see the beautiful monarch butterfly colors. I'll update you tomorrow once it emerges from the chrysalis. This monarch butterfly has only just emerged from its chrysalis. It'll take a couple of hours now for its wings to set. After a month-long journey from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to butterfly, it's time to release my first monarch. It's a beautiful, healthy male. I placed him here on this plant and he flew off shortly after. More updates to come. I noticed two of my butterflies were almost ready to come out of their chrysalis. So I set up a time lapse to show you the process how they do this. They gradually pump up their wings with fluid stored in their abdomen. They expel any extra fluids they have and hang from their chrysalis until their wings have dried and set. Soon I'll be able to release these two. I'll post another update. It's finally release time for these butterflies. They've both come out really healthy. The wing patterns show that this one is a female and this one here is a male. Here you can see two monarch butterflies emerging from their chrysalis. In total, 10 butterflies emerged today. And here's how their release went. They'll now live two to four weeks as adults and hopefully parent the next generation. 